Hi, right, this is Stephen Williams, president and founder of the creditrepairshop.com. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about a new type of debt collector that is uh, starting to uh, really make themselves known in the market. They've kind of been out there for years, but they've been undercover. Uh, they mainly only deal with people who have assets. So these are not debt collectors that are trying to collect someone for credit card debt. They're not trying to collect, you know, something on a repo debt or a smaller type debt. These are debt collectors that will buy debts for 10 and they're buying them individually. They're not buying them in bulk. They, they will buy them for $10,000, $20,000, uh, $50,000. Uh, and they'll buy them in, hope, in hopes of doing two things. Number one, being able to either seize the assets of the individual or, uh, you know, trying to wait it out for that individual to sell that piece of property by, and they have a lien up against it. So I want to give you an example of, uh, of one that recently came across my desk. And this is an individual who owns a home uh, for a substantial amount of uh, money the property is in the uh, uh, it could be I'm not going to mention the exact number but let's just say that the property is a million dollars and um, they had a judgment that was placed against them on a personal level even though it was a business type uh, judgment and so what ended up happening uh, is that they got the judgment and then they got the lien and the original creditor ended up selling it to this uh, specific debt collector. And there's not too many of them across the country, but there are some out there. And what they specialize in doing is they'll look at that portfolio and they'll see that, you know, they have a debt, the, uh, the debt that was the judgment for, and it has to already be a judgment. So they're buying the judgment for an individual. So this isn't where they're going to court and getting the judgment. They're actively going out there and they're looking for judgments that are uh, in the that are out there. Uh, and there's a place that you can get a list of those. It's called Pacer. That's where attorneys and uh, all the court records are uh, placed. And you can look at that across the country through a Pacer account. And uh, so they can see that you know that the judgment in there is for let's just say three hundred thousand dollars. So what they'll do is they'll approach the original creditor or whoever holds that judgment and they'll say, hey, you've been waiting all this time for it. Uh, and there's a 20 year uh, time frame on it. So they have 20 years it, to wait on it if they're trying to see if the person will sell the property or they can try to force an action. In some states, you can actually force an action also. So you have to be very careful uh, if you find yourself in this type of situation because there's no worse feeling than building up something like you pay on your house, uh, you pay on a investment property, you have something that's solid and then uh, you have a company that buys these judgments and then they'll try to collect on it. So. It, when they try to do a forced sale, and uh, he said that they did try to do a forced sale where they were going to try to force sell the property, but I think that there's issues with making an individual sell an asset if it's their own private uh, personal residence. They can make you uh, sell a second house, or if you have another, um, you know, like a, a, a building or something, or, you know, a, piece of investment real estate they can try to force you to sell that asset to collect on it uh, but you know it's kind of sketchy on what is different with every state on what they can do but mostly this is what they mostly try to do is that they will put a lien on your residence or try to put a lien on some other assets that they see that you have and then they'll just wait for you to try to sell it. And then when you try to sell it, it's like, we want to collect on this uh, lien that we have. Uh, 
because what they do, especially with real estate, is they're going to run your name to see if there's any liens against you. And if there's any liens that's actually attached to the property, it could be a, 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 a judgment in your name, but that, you know, and those are rarely collected, you know, but what they're, what they do is they put the, attach the lien to that specific piece of property. And so that makes it to where as soon as you try to sell it, they have a lien on that specific piece of property and that makes them have to get it resolved. And what happened was with this individual was not able to sell the property because they had that lien. And the thing about it is the reason why they pay a high amount for that judgment is because they are going to get, you know, that huge payoff. They're, they're betting on that huge payoff. And because they, you know, these are investors. And what these investors do is they're like, hey, I'll put, you know, 25000 into this. And, uh, and then, you know, eventually at some point, it's going to have to pay out. Uh, and we got 20 years to wait. Some people will wait 20 years to get their investment. But at some point, they're going to have to force it because if it gets to the 20 year on the judgment, uh, you know, they're going to end up losing. So that's the risk that they're taking on that. But be aware of that, especially if you're a business owner, you have uh, real estate that's paid off. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you do resolve any judgments that come your way because they're going to have that option to be able to come after you that way to put those liens on the property and you don't want to end up losing that way. Usually, uh, and, and I know it's tough because at the time that people are going through judgments is, is when they usually have a financial downturn. So they're not able to do settlements at, at that time usually. But if possible, when you have something coming down and you know that it's, it's basically where you're going to lose on it, uh, try to work out some type of settlement agreement so you don't have any of your other assets being attached because you just don't want to have that come back at you when you really need to either sell that asset because you're cashing out or ready to retire or move on. So uh, I'm going to end the video here. If you need help with your credit or if you have questions, especially about stuff with judgments, uh, you can reach out and put your comments here below the uh, video. If you need help with your credit, please visit us, us at thecreditrepairshop.com. Uh, if you need your reports and scores, because everything starts there, go to your the number three scores.com. If you need uh, help with debt validation or cease and desist letters for collections and uh, statute of limitations, you can um, uh, get those links, those uh, letters for free below here. Uh, the uh, link to those are right below this video. So thank you for your time. This is Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of the CreditRepairShop.com.